In 2008, Bowdoin set a goal of attaining carbon neutrality by 2020. For Bowdoin to achieve carbon neutrality, we must remove as much carbon dioxide from the atmosphere as we emit into it. The overall goal of carbon neutrality is to achieve a zero carbon footprint, doing our part to protect the planet from the dangers of global warming and climate change. This is a simple guide to how Bowdoin will achieve its neutrality goal by 2020, which it actually achieved by 2018. At Bowdoin, we can break our CO2 emissions into three scopes by their different sources. Scope 1 emissions cover on-site fuel combustion to heat the college, college vehicle use, and fugitive refrigerants on campus. Scope 2 emissions account for the purchased electricity that powers our lights, appliances, and technology. Scope 1 and 2 emissions are considered our own source emissions. Scope 3 emissions tra cover travel by college faculty and staff, daily employee commuting, transmission line losses from electricity use, and waste disposal. Since 2008, Bowdoin has reduced its own source emissions by nearly 30% through the hard work of the Facilities Management Department, Sustainability Office, Administration, staff, faculty, and students. Improvements in insulation, fuel switching, energy efficiency, new lighting technologies, and behavior change have gotten us this far, but we're not all the way there yet. Here's a guide to how Bowdoin will address the remaining emissions to achieve carbon neutrality. 11% of the remaining reductions will be achieved by a virtual power purchase agreement. What is that? Bowdoin is teaming up with a consortium of five New England colleges and the renewable energy company Nextera. Nextera is planning to build a solar farm in Farmington, Maine to supply the surrounding Maine communities with emission-free energy to replace existing fossil fuel sources. However, for this project to be feasible, Nextera needs to be sure that the energy it produces will stay competitive in the fossil fuel market. Fluctuations in market energy prices make this hard to ensure. Bowdoin and its peer schools will provide this price stability by purchasing the energy at a fixed price for the next 20 years. If energy prices rise, Bowdoin will continue to pay this price. And if energy prices fall, Nextera will pay Bowdoin back the difference. Bowdoin itself will not receive the purchased electricity, but will enable the project to successfully provide clean energy to its local energy grid. Bowdoin plans to purchase 8,000 megawatt hours of generation per year for 20 years, an equivalent of 1,300 metric tons of carbon dioxide. This is the equivalent of an 11% annual reduction in Bowdoin's emissions. What about the rest of our emissions? Bowdoin plans to buy Renewable Energy Credits, or RECs, to offset 14% of its remaining Scope 2 emissions. What is a REC? Across the country, energy produced by renewable sources is sold both as energy and for its credit as renewable. This helps to support and incentivize the growing renewable energy industry. Bowdoin will buy Green E certified credits from re renewable wind and solar projects across the country to offset 1,500 metric tons of CO2, or roughly 14% of our emissions. A number of projects around New England are working to offset or capture existing CO2 and sequester it out of the atmosphere. These are considered carbon offset purchases. These include methane gas capture from landfills and agriculture, reforestation, and other new technologies to pull carbon from the air. Bowdoin will offset its 75% of remaining emissions by purchasing carbon offsets from Mount Carberry Landfill just up the Androscoggin River in Berlin, New Hampshire. This investment will offset 8,740 metric tons of CO2. Of course, Bowdoin will continue to reduce emissions on campus through a number of exciting projects, including installation of solar panels on the Roos Center for the Environment, achieving sustainability certifications on new building projects, and encouraging all of us here on campus to reduce our individual carbon footprints. So, here we are at carbon neutrality, a bit ahead of schedule in 2018. But this is by no means the end of the road, as Bowdoin is looking forward to exploring how we can decrease our own emissions and decrease reliance on purchased wrecks and offsets as we maintain carbon neutrality moving forward.